Today I have this breadboard project. This fun and colorful breadboard will convert binary number to decimal number. Each of these four LEDs represent one bit. Each bit can be either 0 or 1. I can change bits with push buttons. Let's say that green is 0 and red is 1. Decimal value is shown here using this 7 segment display. Highest number that I can choose using 4 bits is 15, but this 7 segment display can show only numbers from 0 to 9. In this video we will learn how binary system works, how to use flip flops and how to use these 4 bits to 7 segment decoder. I will also explain interesting components like these two color LEDs or this breadboard breadboard wires which I love. I will break this circuit in parts so you can easily understand it and create something similar. So let's start. If you don't know where to buy electronic components uh, I recommend UT Source. They have great website and here you can find everything you need for electronics, robotics, Arduino projects and so on. I will put links of some components used in this video. It is also good to mention that here you can buy healthcare products like masks, protective suits, gloves and other stuff that is needed today. Before we start I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Here you can find many interesting projects, tutorials and much more. Projects are related to electronics, Arduino, ESP, Raspberry Pi. Feel free to check it. But first let's see how binary system works. Here we have 4 LEDs, so 4 bits. When all bits are green, 0, decimal value is 0. First bit alone have value 1. Next bit is double, so it is 2. Next one is double, so it is 4. And last one is double, so it is 8. I will put uh, this sticker below uh, push buttons to help us a little. Ok, I will reset it to 0. And for example I want number 5. I will turn on bit 4 and bit 1 because 4 plus 1 is 5. And if I want number 3 I will turn on bit 2 and bit 1 because 2 plus 3 is 1. And that is this simple. This way I can dial any number from 0 to 9. With more bits and uh, with better display you can dial even higher numbers. Let's break this circuit. Here we have two identical IC CD4013. CD4013 is dual D type flip flop. So what is flip flop? In this configuration flip flop is simple on off switch. With this button and I can change state of output. And that state will be hold until the next button press. This flip flop have also second output which is always opposite that first. So I can connect another LED to second output. That LED will be opposite that first. CD4013 is a dual flip-flop IC, so with one chip I can control two bits in my project. That's why I need two of them. On the, this side chip uh, is one flip-flop, on this side of chip is second flip-flop. I will show you how to make one simple flip-flop circuit. It is simple. First I will connect VCC and ground. This pin is VCC and this one is ground. I will uh, need to connect these two pins also to ground rail. 
Now I will add push button. On this side of push button I will put this 10k resistor and here I will put uh, smaller 200 ohms resistor. One 100 nanofarad capacitor here. This side will be connected to ground and this is the bouncing push button. That's why we need so many components. This side will be connected to this pin of button. And uh, now we need to connect these two pins together. And now we are ready to add LEDs. I will add two LEDs. One will be red, second one green. Cathodes will be connected to the ground. And anode. I will connect anodes to do this. 1k potentiometer. This pin goes to the first LED and this goes to the second one. And that's it. Our flip-flop is finished. But in my project I didn't use two LEDs for each bit. I used this two color LED. It can be found on many sites. If you don't have them you can use RGB LED. Next chip used in project is this CD4511 BCD27 segment decoder. This chip will convert these four outputs to number displayed on this seven segment display. On the right side of chip are segments from E a to G. On left side are four inputs and some other pins that are connected to VCC or ground. Each input pin needs to be connected to ground through 10k resistor. Here is whole schematic. And here is speeded version of making this circuit on breadboard. I used, used this 4 bit deep switch, but any toggle button can be used. Many people want to know where I get these wires for breadboard. I buy this bunch of these little packs. They are very easy to find on the internet. Just google solderless breadboard jumper cable. That's it. I hope you learn, learned something today. I know that this is not the most useful project in the world, but it can be fun to make and it is also a great educational tool when explaining binary to kids. Stay safe, stay home and see you next week with new projects and tutorials. Bye!